Hey guys, Jan here in the North View Model Shop, and guess what? It is Sunday night again. So that means it's time to gossip, and we got a great lineup of wonderful information and exciting stuff to bring you this week. Um, once again, we've gone to high tech with printed paper. It's actually working pretty good for us. Guys, the bench is a complete disaster, so kind of work with us here. Uh, things dropping and falling. Um, we'll get to that later on in the video, like we do every single week. So let's get started. Um, the Northview Model Shop's Facebook page, guys, is up and running. Uh, we talked about that yesterday on an interview we did. We'll get to that a little bit as well. Um, we've added some members just from uh, Facebook friends. Uh, guys, if you're interested, come on over. Uh, pop over to your Facebook. In the top there, search Northview Model Shop. Should bring you to the, and then click on the groups. Should get you right there. Send the request to join one of our uh, admins or one of the monitors. We'll, uh, we'll add you on there, and guys, and we can get started posting, having fun. It's, it's, there's, there's no rules about genres or anything. You can post anything, plastic related, uh, about models, building, tips, tricks, anything like that. If you're a YouTuber, please get over there and post link to your video. Because, um, guys, what's a better way to share than to post it there? People are looking for it, right? A um, couple of rules, nothing really that spectacular. You know, guys, just be friendly, have fun. You know, blah blah blah. Um, later on this week here, we'll do a really good in-depth video on what our plan is, mission statement, all that fun stuff. But guys, we really want you to get over there, post uh, your stuff, guys. And it's a really great way to post uh, some of your builds, photos, of your builds direct to us. We see them right away, real quick. You never know; you could make it to the Sunday Night Gossip as one of those builds that catches our eyes. Um, as we mentioned, Saturday afternoon, this last Saturday afternoon, we were invited to sit in on the Styrene Syndicate show as a special guest. What an amazing, fun time we had there, guys. It was so cool. It was so much fun. Got to chat with Gil and uh, Hobby Man Mike and, uh, and Richard was there. Uh, Lane Little Hobbies was there for a little bit. It was fun. Um, and the questions from the chat were really great. I know my biggest fan in the world... The Atomic Dog was there asking questions like crazy. And um, uh, Gil and these guys had prepared some really great questions. Uh, it, was, it was something straight out of, uh, out of, out of a really great, uh, you know, legitimate talk show. It was some great questions. And we debated some stuff and chatted. Had a great time. It was about an hour and 40 minutes we were there. Really great. Guys, they do this uh, every Saturday. I guess it's around 4 o'clock Eastern time. We usually when they go live. There's a chat running. And uh, Gil's promised more guests in the future. I can't wait to be able to sit on this side of the camera, or I guess the other side of the camera, and uh, watch the video live streaming and, uh, and throw questions out there and watch the interview. So it's going to be really exciting. Um, since we're talking about the Styron Syndicate, one of their, uh, one of their members, Hobby Man Mike, uh, he got, uh, I'm going to say he got screwed over by the Facebook. And it wasn't so much the Facebook as it was some, as he says, quote unquote, a douche who went crying to Facebook. Apparently, if you read the rules and regulations of Facebook, uh, you can't call yourself Hobby Man Mike because his identification doesn't say that. So thus, he has a, a non-legitimate account. You can use your real name, but you can't call yourself by your nickname. You get in trouble. So anyway, somebody squealed on him. He made the wrong person mad. Facebook's going to close his page down or his account down in the next seven days on that. So he fired up another page uh, and he got a little uh, public group page going. Now all you need to do is search uh, at Hobby Man Mike. Click on that, like and join that page. And then you can continue to follow Hobby Man Mike in his adventures in Styrene. So guys, pop over there and like it. It sucks that the world's come to this, and that's what they got to do. But it is what it is. It's the rules and regulation. Mike says he's taking it. It's a bump. You got to take it like it is. So you know he's being real professional, being a man about it. Whatever, move on, right? So Mike, good for you, Mike. Shits that happened to you, but we're following you there, brother. So keep her going. All right, guys. Revell released their first quarter of 2017 flyer. There's some pretty cool looking stuff on there. I must tell you. The Foos F100, in particular, really turns our crank. We're a big fan of those old, uh, the old Fords. Um, I'm not going to go much deeper than that because, guys, I, guys, I want you to jump over to the uh, the Star or the Stash Project. Talk to our friend James over there, and he does a video of the Stash Report this week where he talks a lot about this flyer, a lot of the information, and a lot of the stuff, the information behind 
all these new kits and reissued kits. So guys, get over to the Stash Project, check that out. But uh, yeah, Ravel seems to be posting some stuff already, and uh, we're getting pretty excited about that. Ravel is one of our favorite car companies, so go from there. On the topic of the Stash Project, guys, um, he had just hit 400 subscribers over at his page, and to commemorate, to commemorate this, He's doing a giveaway. Uh, it's a Johan kit. Really cool kit. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice kit from what he's saying. Kind of rare. Um, he's going to give one of these away. Now, guys, all you got to do is get over there, subscribe, watch his 400 sub video, and comment below. Get you, it automatically gets you entered in. Um, this will end uh, this coming Wednesday, and he's going to try to do the draw on Friday. I believe it's October 21st for a chance to win. Guys, there's a few little rules in here. Um, he's going to ship it, but uh, he's shipping it for sure the value. And if you've got to pay customs to get it in, that's that's your problem thing. So it sounds like a legitimate thing. It's It sounds pretty cool. So uh, we get over there pretty quick, and we sign up for that one. I suggest you guys do the same. Hunter at Showtime Studios has posted, again, two really great videos on uh, dealing with seams. Uh, really great to see Hunter back at it and posting videos. We're a big uh, fan of Hunter. He, he's very knowledgeable, really cool builder. Uh, so, guys, if you, uh, you have never heard of Hunter and Showtime Studio, get over there. Uh, check them out. These videos are great, guys. Like we both said, links and descriptions in the in the below there. Um, Kenny at Mindless Model Works is hosting the Cancer Awareness Group Build this year. Um, I'm seeing a lot of really cool videos coming up. There looks like some guys are going to build some really, really cool stuff for this one this year. So if you get a chance, pop over there, find out what the deal is. And if you're interested, hop in on that group build. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, Paul Turley has posted video of his T-Bird. Again, it's a really great in-depth video of all the details and scratch building he's done to the motor of that. It's really good to see him back front. He recently moved and had to set up a shop once again. So he's back at her. And uh, hopefully we'll get back in the groove and get some videos going. This project's been going on for quite a while, so you know it'll be uh, it'll be really, really, really good when he's all done. Doctor Cranky has posted some videos of the uh, Forty Nine Wills he's working on, and um, he's got a tri-tone um, uh, Willis going on there. The frame matches it and everything. It's looking really, really, really good. And um, he wants to have these ready for the Atlanta show. So hopefully he gets them there. Uh, one's got some really, really special machined aluminum wheels on it. Those look mint. So, uh, Doctor, keep those videos coming. I'm really interested in what you got going on there. Uh, a buddy of mine just got a hold of me, and he's telling me he's out of Sussex, New Brunswick. So up New Brunswick way. Uh, their Dollarama looks like they have a bunch of Limburg kits. Um, I think he said four or five planes and jets and stuff like that, and like a Ford Model A, which is like a 132 scale kit. Uh, and they're around four bucks a piece. So, guys, if you're in that area, check it out. There could be some really good kits for the kids to get into and start messing around with. Um, the Benny Mac, Benny Mac from down in Australia, has posted some videos on his Austin Martin. This build is finished. Now, I know he was working on this one for quite a while. Um, it's really good to see Benny posting some videos again. Hopefully, he'll get back into his groove. Uh, I know they're probably just coming into their summertime season now, so he may not be into the, uh, into the, uh, on the bench very much, might be doing that summertime stuff, but uh, hopefully we'll get him back here up and running sooner than later. Uh, I see that Jaw Performance has uh, posted a video again. You guys don't remember, uh, Jaw was a member of, I guess, one of the original YouTube model car guys, kind of got the whole ball rolling, uh, fell off the face of the earth there for a while, posted videos very very sporadically but when we do we do check him out uh he's always been a really amazing car builder so uh good to see him back on youtube and posting um guys the styrene syndicate as we talked about them before will be holding their hollywood vehicle build starting november 1st and running through to january 1st of 2017 guys i suggest popping over to the styrene syndicate uh subscribing to their facebook page youtube page google plus page uh and watch for details they're still ironing it out looks like there's going to be some giveaways it's going to be really cool. We're excited. I don't know if we'll be able to get in on it. We've kind of committed ourselves to another group build through that month. But we will be watching it closely. Um, guys, now we get to the fun part. Ah, the Facebook group of the week. This week, guys, that goes to the Panzer page. I'm, I'm a big fan of this page. It's amazing stuff. Um a huge bunch of easygoing guys over there who build some spectacular models. Um, the subject is mostly World War II 
uh, German tank, uh, German uh, support vehicle, stuff like that. Um, some of these guys are turning out just absolutely stunningly amazing magazine quality builds. Um, huge source of inspiration for us here. Every time we pop over there, we, we kind of get the urge to go grab one of those tank kits over there and start on it. But I'm going to finish what's going on the bench here first. Uh, the admin over there is David, and uh, he keeps the page in really great shape, uh, under control. Um, it's just just awesome. I, I love uh, love this page. Um, really highly suggest you guys get over there and check it out. Also, David uh, quite regularly goes live on Facebook as he builds from his bench. He says it's really more of just wasting people's time, but, you know, hey, I've watched it. I've enjoyed it. So, guys, over the Panzer page, keep up the great work. Really enjoy what you're doing over there. Okay, guys, once again, it is time for the scale, the small scale auto show winner of, uh, of the week here. Uh, guys, if you don't know, over on Instagram, these guys here, you submit your photo, you get posted uh, to the last couple of day, uh, and the guy or the person with the most likes wins that week. This week belongs to Shit Box Nova with um, 386 likes for his Fox Mustang notchback. Congratulations, Shit Box Nova, uh, on a what a great, amazing, clean build you have there. Way to go, brother. Congratulations. Now, to correct, last week's winner wasn't Roger Honing. He was just the first one to comment and like the winner. And the winner was Patrick Van Villette with his rat rod. Patrick sent me a uh, picture of it so we can share it this week. And hopefully it's right here, right now. And with huge credit to Roger, as soon as the video went live and when he watched it, he got a hold of me right away, very quickly, and corrected the mistake. Uh, I apologize to Patrick for the mistake. That was honest, my honest mistake, and we apologize. We'll make sure that will not happen again. So, congratulations to all of the winners. All right, folks, it's time for the ever so popular and immensely controversial models that caught our eye this week. All right, with some cheesy effects. Boo! That was cool. Um, let's get under way. Okay, first and foremost, let's start with something super cool, and that would be from Tron Price at Plastic Scale Model Builders with this amazing amount of detail in the engine compartment of this drag car. Uh, I actually went and clicked on uh, Tron's profile and went through some of his photos. This guy can build. It is insane. Um, I'm not sure 100% of these are mostly kits, or is this 99% scratch build, but what an amazing job this guy does. Um, guys, he's on a lot of car pages. If you get a chance to check out his stuff, go ahead and do that. Next is Marcos Cruz at Mr. Mini Dreams. Um, look how clean this build is. The gray color looks almost perfect, and that window, window tint, super cool. This looks like a really, really cool build. When I first seen this picture, it kind of caught me off guard as this is a, this is a one to one, you know, well, this is a scale model. Really great job. Um, Neil Raffi at Scale Model Tanks built uh, built this really cool jagged Panzer. This is a Tamiyan kit. Um, I love how he did the mud and dirt on the tracks. Really, really nice job. Tyler Lonesdale at Model Car Builders. This was for the Ruby Tuesday. Uh, we did a we did our Merc in this color. And uh, this was why it caught our eye here. This is hot. Look at that car, guys. Amazing work. Great paint job. Roberto B. Barze at International Military Model World posted this really nice Tiger. Just amazing work here, guys. Really great stuff. Amazing talent. Michael Obermary. Maria Hef. Sorry, guys. I'm really bad with names. Uh, the Model Car Builders. Built this C10 after his own one-to-one. -one. Uh, this looks great. Great job. Great work. It looks spot on to me. This looked really good at the car show with your scale model sitting on the dash. Great job, guys. Um, Na Papa's Congrat at the Panzer page. Built this Panzer Kampf wagon. Uh, great work on the detail and weathering. Uh, I really like the style of these tanks and, and the style of this weathering. It just looks so cold and so evil. Uh, really turns our crank. Uh, this is how we want to strive to someday be able to reproduce. Great job, guys. 
Uh, Eric Long at Model Car and Trucks. Um, uh, this is such a cool dio the di diorama here. Um, he posted as part of his scratch build Saturday. I uh, love the rig on the back of the truck there. Really, really good. Dennis Jankowski at Scale Aircraft built this amazing 132 to me in Corsair. Look at the detail and the weathering that he put into the panel lines on this plane. Really, really great job. Richard Rick Manson. Mason, sorry, at the model car and truck with his four-door wagon left in the woods to rust. This, honestly, guys, is probably one of the most amazing, cleanest, perfect, rusted, abandoned car jobs uh, for modeling I've ever seen. Um, kind of reminds me of um, some stuff that uh, Ken Hamilton would build. Um, if you guys don't know him, check Ken Hamilton out. He does some crazy cool stuff. So, guys, this uh, built by uh, Richard uh, Mason is super, super, super cool. Uh... Brandon Glover at the Northview Model Shop group page. I don't know if I should be plugging my own page, but we just did. Um, posted this really nice Mercedes with all the doors and the bonnet and everything opened. Uh, Brandon is also part of the Acme Southern Nationals page. It's where we met him at. And uh, their show's coming up in about a month. So guys, you're going to see builds like this one. And a whole whack more of super cool, really good builds. Uh, jump over to their, their Facebook group. Uh, get some more information. Uh, we'll have some more info on that, that show coming up here very shortly. And last but not least, the one build that really caught our eye this week and made us drop our jaw would be from the one and the only James Duff. He posts this on our page, the Northview Model Shop page. Um, this is his McLaren MP4-12C GT3 race car. This has Studio 27 decals. And uh, the photography and the build and the decaling, super cool. And it is so cool that, guys, congratulations to James Duff. He will sport and represent the Northview Model Shop group page as its banner for the week. So congratulations, James. Beautiful build. Love your work. We also love James and his work over at the Styrene Stash. And, guys, check out the Styrene Stash Facebook page as well, where you'll see builds like this as well. All right, guys, that's what we got for this week. Thanks a million for tuning in. We've got some great ideas and some more content to try to add to the Sunday Night Gossip Show. So, guys, if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button. If you're really liking what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button so you will never miss another video. Guys, from the Northview Model Shop, we have been building our butts off this week, but nothing has made it to the tube. That's sort of a lie. We filmed a lot of material and processed a lot of video and uploaded it, but we're not going to drop those videos right now. We're sharing those for a little bit later on into the season when uh, we're getting into We're kind of getting everything prepped now so we can do some major painting later on. And we're waiting on some supplies to come in. So, most likely this week we really need to get back to that Honda Acura, which is right here. Got to do a little work on the paint and uh, we should be able to get that build up and running and I need to get some materials in and then we can move on to another build. Guys, we've also got some group build stuff coming up and there's a buddy build coming up this year that we've got in the works and I've got a really cool build um, right now in assembly and um, it should be pretty cool. We're, we're going to really push the boundaries on that one but enough muttering and gabbling and messing around guys thanks a million for tuning in love the support guys if you want to get in on the sunday night gossip video pop over to the northview model shop on facebook join the page or the group and submit your projects either in progress or complete for a chance to make it all right guys thanks a million for tuning in love the support see you again next week adios